Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video guys. So today I'll be attempting to tear the B5 motor down, uh, well motor engine, whatever you want to call it, but specifically taking the internals out, the piston, rings, rods, and hopefully the crank. Um, but I'm starting to run out of space and I'm trying to keep consistent, um, not just with the channel. And thank you guys for watching the videos. Um, last one was pretty long, but uh, still want to keep it detailed and just for my backlog if I need to go back and watch a video and see what I miss when reinstalling I know where to go so I'm um, trying to stay consistent as well I want to take the motor to machinist and have it cleaned and when I get rods still don't know if I'm gonna get pistons depends on my power level because the stock pistons are pretty potent but um, just have everything cleaned and balanced and whatnot. Bring it back and I, don't, I will do all the reinstalling. So um, let's start, guys. Hi, guys. So here's a close up um, in case you know beginners out there um, trying to figure out how to put this on the stand. Um, what I did was, I don't want to show it probably too long and unnecessary. Um, just lift it up on the hoist. Uh, Should have probably done it with the heads because the, the heads have the mounting point what I had to do was um, sacrifice one of the supply oil feed hexes hex so I mounted it here and I mounted on this side and it worked pretty pretty okay but um, it was probably best to do it with the heads on and lift it up on the stand and you know gently try to line it up into the slot so some of you guys know the stand, this stand I had on the Integra K20 build. Um, so, and if you guys want to know how it's mounted, um, one, two, three, four. I think the Bentley manual calls for some VW, I guess Volkswagen 540 fixture holding. Um, but this works fine. Got the bolts from Lowe's. They are metric 12, pitch of 1.75. And they're 19 millimeters long. Uh, they just use a few washers, use six washers, to make the difference. And it's it's pretty sturdy on there. So you guys want to know? Alright, bolts have been removed. You know, like I try practice as a preach. Ziploc bag, Sharpie, Markham, pictures, and um, the other ones. Alright. Here we go. Oil pump pickup tube. Uh, the B5 setup is like two parts. There's like a top. This cover and then the other cover needs to come off before we can get to the crank shaft. Now I'm gonna unbolt this whole oil pump assembly. Alright, so just to give a little up close view. So what I need to remove now, this is uh it's all up to what you want to call it. Cover for the chain sprocket. Um, these are the tubes. One, two, I need to remove those 10 millimeter. This is a 10 millimeter as well. Uh, and down one, two, three. Those are uh, hexes. Uh, can't figure the size off head. I guess maybe around five to eight millimeter hex. And I should be able to pull the whole assembly out. Uh, some I realize I messed up on. This is a lower or upper case in the oil pan assembly. I think I may need to take this out and put it down in here because I won't be able to get to the crankshaft and the piston and the rods. So, yep. And then I should be able to should be able to get this off with no problem.
All right, just want to show you guys if you're doing this job. 2.7. I'm sure the same with the 2.8, three liter. So there's a tensioner down right here. See, if you touch it, releases tension off of the chain. And make sure you do that so you can get the whole assembly off. fight to get off again take that tension off of it and you may need a pry screwdriver in between but it's key it only goes one way so It only can go one way. I don't know if it's focused, so make sure you're using the DSLR today. So, so as you can see, that little notch up the top, that sprocket only can go in one way. So, you should have no problem with it. Alright, now I should be able to attack these bolts. Next to the lower uppercase, the rest of the block. It's so hard to live in this world alone with nobody, nobody to call your own. So here are the rods, um, they're held on by a special socket called E Torx. This is an E12 the mains or E14 you can pick this up at Harbor Freight nine bucks ain't gonna lie man Harbor Freight comes in pretty handy uh, the same set costs like twenty some dollars at O'Reilly so uh, you know crack these so And obviously you're gonna hear him already loosen these earlier, but you're gonna hear him crack. Obviously they're on a lot of torque. So. Yes. Just take your time. The other ones. All right, guys. So pistons are out. I have it laid to the side. Uh, I'm gonna put this in a two-part series or just basically just split the video because it's already long and, and what needs to be so I hope this helped you um, not a hard task just want to make sure um, if you're doing this release um, your locking crank pin and as far as turning the crankshaft you want to make sure you're not having the chain bind I wasn't being um, cautious and I almost broke the tensioner for the oil pump and the chain was binding while on the sprocket so I had to make sure I hold it, held it up back off the tensioner and rotate the crank um, other than that you know like I said it's pretty straightforward um, pistons you know the, the, the journals and everything they, they seem to be in good, good shape for 200 some thousand mile motor I felt like someone's been in here but again it is what it is um, not a big deal Everything stock. I'm gonna change over to um, forge parts, so um, not a big deal, anyways. Um, but other than that, um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys um, find anything informative. If I left out anything, 
If I did anything wrong, just leave it in the comment section. And I hope you guys are loving the video. Like, share, subscribe. Peace out.